Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our nativity, a time when we remember, reenact, and celebrate the coming of Christ into our world. Back in February, Linda and I would at the very least have described ourselves as camera shy, and we certainly have never done any video editing, so we've learnt a lot this year. And though we are definitely still amateurs in this area, this has been so much fun to put together. And I'm sure you will agree, our children are amazing. Let's begin with a prayer. Lord Jesus, as we come this evening to remember your birth into our world, help us to open your hearts and minds to you, to know your love, to understand your word and to share your love with others. Amen. Amen. Please do join in with the songs and prayers. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy as we present to you our nativity for 2020. <laughs> Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 14 and Christ became a human being and lived here on earth among us and was full of loving forgiveness and truth and some of us have seen the glory the glory of the only Son of the Heavenly Father begins in Bethlehem. A man named Joseph and a woman named Mary had made the long journey to this little town to be counted. Oh I'm so tired! That was a long journey and now we don't even have a proper bed to rest in! Just the straw and hay. Joseph, I told you we should have booked in advance. I know, I'm sorry, I did try. It was a nightmare. Everyone comes to Bethlehem at the same time. Oh dear, things just got worse. Bethlehem just got moved to tier three. I'm sorry, darling, we're going to be stuck here for a while. I'm going to see if I can find something to eat before everywhere closes. Be back as quick as I can. 
Bring some layer roll if you find any. <sighs> How did we end up here? Looks gigantic palaver this year has been. It started out quite promising, if a little daunting. I was minding my own business one day at home <clears throat> when an angel appeared and told me I was having a baby. Not just any baby. His name is to be Jesus, and he will be the cool and he will be called the son of the most high God. Thank goodness the, and the angel also appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him he told him to marry me. I thought he'd never believe me. I mean, it all sounds a bit far fetched, doesn't it? Now we've had to travel miles from home in the middle of a pandemic to be counted for the census, which is probably cancelled now. They've moved Bethlehem into tier three. And the only place we could find to stay was this stable. And the baby's due any day now. <sighs> I'm back. Sorry, no loo roll anywhere. But I have got food. Come on, you need your strength. You need to keep your strength up. Thank you. I'm starving. Oh! Oh, Joseph, I think the baby is coming! Jesus is born. While Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. There were no rooms left in the inn, so she wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a box where the animals are fed. Suddenly, an angel appeared among them, and the landscape shone bright with the glory of the Lord. They were badly frightened, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you the most joyful news ever announced, and it is for everyone. The Saviour, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem. How will you recognise him? You will find a baby wrapped in blankets, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, they sang, and peace on earth for all those pleasing him.
not, said he, for mighty dread has seized their troubled mind. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to you and all mankind. To you in David's town this day, to come. Miss Barney from the news. They said that the Savior's born may we see him. Well, how many of you? There's only three of us in here. So only three of you keep the rule so keep the rule of six. And the fast don't count, so that's only two of you. I'm not sure. Will you social distance? It's not very big in here. We brought toilet wall. Oh, okay then for just one time please. It's beautiful, the Messiah wanted a mess of a world, our saviour. Don't forget! I know to wash my hands, sprinkling. How can our little baby save the world? I don't know. How God must have a plan. How you seen the boy start standing in the We just have to trust him. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I want to ride you out. Up above the world so high. Dancing diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, yay! Yeah. Little star, how I wonder what you are. Far away, some wise men had also noticed the blue star shining in the sky. Have you seen the new star? A king has been born. It would happen this year, wouldn't it? We should go to him. Let me look up the guidelines on travelling. There's no need. We're in tier three. We're not allowed to travel at all. We must do something. Call Balthazar. He'll know what to do. Hello? Balthazar, have you seen the new star? We must visit, but how? Yes, what did you tell you? We'll have to zoom. We can't zoom, we can't zoom anywhere. We're not allowed to travel. 
No, Zoom. It's an online audio and web conferencing platform. Like FaceTime, only better. Have you heard Zoom? I'll look it up. Yeah, found it, downloading it now. If my calculations are correct, we should be able to log in with the ID 251220, password G-O-D-W-I-T-H-U-S. Got it. 25.122 dot two, God with us. The wise men. They saw the same star that had, they had seen in the east that went before them until it stopped for the place where the child was. When the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. They went to the house where the child was and saw him with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped the child. They opened the gifts they brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. the stable and far away at the same time thanks to Zoom. Hello. Can you hear me? Is it working? I think he's muted. You need to unmute yourself. It's on the left at the bottom of your of the screen. Hello, that's better. We've come to worship the new king. That's lovely, but we can only see the top of your head. You need to move your camera down. Ah, that's better. We've come to worship the new king. Did you receive my gift? I think gold. Yes, thank you. Wait. Wait, what? He didn't say he'd already sent his gift. That's just like Balthazar, trying to look better than us. We have also, we also have gifts. Yes, I have frankincense. And I have murder. We will send them to, to you. Sorry guys, I just assumed you'd be organised like me. Oh, here we go. Balasar is better than everyone. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, why didn't you tell me we had to sing gifts? Why didn't you tell me we had to sing gifts? A new king is born as saviour to the world. A light to scatter the darkness. Bringing peace to all people. See him lying on a bed of straw, drafty stable with an open door, Mary cradling the babe she bore, the Prince of Glory is his name. Anna carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord appear to men. Just 
just as poor as was this fabled man, the Prince of Glory when he came. Stars sell the sweep across the sky, show where Jesus in his manger lies. Shepherds swiftly from your stoop arise to see the Savior of the world. was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Angels sing again the song he sang, bring God's glory to the heart of man. Sing the Bethlehem's little baby can, be salvation to the soul. stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thank you, Linda. Let's have a quick look back at our story and think about the words Linda has just read. Mary said, It all sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? It all sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? What do you think? Does the Christmas story sound far-fetched? maybe for some, and yet here we are, over 2,000 years later, still celebrating and remembering this event. Our shepherd said, more than once I think, finally some good news this year. It's felt like we haven't had much good news this year, hasn't it? But the great news is, the good news the shepherds heard is still good news for us today. Jesus is as real now as he was then, as a baby in a manger. And as we know, the baby in the manger grew up and told us all about God and his love for us. He healed many, made many miracles, and then he chose to go to the cross. He died for us and rose again, came alive again so that we can be friends with God without any separation. Which brings me on to the words Linda just read from the book of Romans, perhaps not a traditional nativity reading, but I felt God saying this was the reading he wants to remind us of this year. And actually, these words really sum up why Jesus came into the world that first Christmas. Nothing can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Not a pandemic or being apart from loved ones or wearing a mask or school being closed or sore hands or missing friends or not getting a shopping delivery slot or self-isolating or being unwell, or grief, or life being so changed, it is almost unrecognisable. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Our wise men had an interesting Zoom login. Did you spot it? 25, 12, 20. God with us. Whatever we're going through, however we are feeling, God is with us through Jesus. He's here in this time, here in this place with us. All we have to do is choose to respond to his love. 
So, this Christmas, let's open our hearts and invite Jesus to be in our lives. Let's talk to him every day in prayer. Let's open our Bibles. If you've not done that before, the Gospel of Mark in the New Testament can be a helpful place to start. And with our children, let's have a Bible story at bedtime. Let's have a thank you prayer at tea time. All simple things we can all do. Let's get to know God either for the first time or more deeply than we have before. On the first Christmas, Jesus came to change the world. Let's not let another Christmas go by without inviting him in to change our worlds. Amen. We're going to pray together now. When we say Lord Jesus, please join in and say, come and stay with us. Jesus, whose mother was Mary. We pray for our families, especially those who cannot be together this Christmas. Bring comfort to them and help us all to find joy in the simple things this Christmas. Lord Jesus, come and stay with come us. And stay with us. Jesus, lying in a manger, we pray for those who don't have anywhere to live. May they find help and know your love this Christmas time. And may we help them wherever we can. Lord Jesus, come and stay with us. Jesus, sharing the stable with the animals. We pray for all of your creation, so full of life. Help us to look after the earth you have given us. Lord Jesus, come and stay, come and with, stay us. with us. Jesus, worshipped by shepherds and kings, we pray for all the different countries of the world as we continue to live through this pandemic. We pray for an end to the pandemic and we remember especially those places where there is little protection, poor housing, no electricity, no water for washing hands. We pray that those of us who have much will share with those of us who have little. Lord Jesus, come, come and stay with us. Jesus, our Emmanuel, we pray for those who are unwell and ask that you would be with them, comfort them and help them get better. Lord Jesus, come, come and stay, stay with us. We pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>
We hope you've enjoyed our nativity. A huge thank you to everyone who has been involved. Our worship leaders, readers, and a special thank you to all our wonderful children who have done so well, and their parents who have sorted costumes and props and filming. If you feel like singing some more carols, join us on Zoom at 6 p.m. We'll also be on Zoom on, for our Chris Single on Christmas Eve at 4 p.m. You can find all Zoom links for our services at mountsorrelchurch.org. You click on the events and services, as Linda is doing now. There we go. Scroll down, find the service you want and click on it and it will bring up the, um, all the details and the Zoom ID and password. So our blessing prayer. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary and the peace of the Christ child be ours this Christmas and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and all whom we love and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas everyone. We pray peace, joy and love over you this Christmas time. <laughs>